Right, hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is M6 IQJ and soon to be 2E0 uh, station. I'm still waiting for my off comp uh, certificate to come through. As soon as that comes through, I can be a 2E0 then. Run some more power, I hope you make contact with the ISS because I passed my 2E0 intermediate amateur radio course. Brilliant. Right, so in the previous video, I showed you how to program Fusion to this radio. I also done another video about unboxing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to program an analog repeater into the radio. And if you're struggling to get your local repeaters, there's an absolutely brilliant app on the phone. The mine's for the iPhone, you can get it for Android, I suppose. It's called Repeater. You also got Repeater Book there, and there's my CB and Ham stuff. So you've got Morset, uh, SSTV, uh, come back, uh, Scanner App, PSK31, because it's phase shift keying at 31 hertz. I believe any repeaters will push it and this just tells you where the local repeaters are all you've got to do is just turn on your GPS and that will tell you uh, your location and it gives you your local repeaters and you can set it on the bottom there with settings you can tell it you want to display bands 10, 6, 4 2 I've got it set for, 77's I've got it set for you can also set for display services. If you look, so you've got FM, we've got D Star, uh, YSF, YAC System Fusion, Wires, Wires X, Tetra, X, uh, NXDN, whatever that one is. Never heard that one before. And that's the repeater app. And that's free in the App Store. Very, very uh, good download. Uh, well recommended. So if you go anywhere on holiday, whatever, oh, what's the local repeaters around here? Run the app and you'll see the local repeaters. So let's go and program a 70 sems, uh, sorry, a two meter repeater analog into this radio. And the one we're going after is we're going after GB3NL, which is a two meter repeater. It RX1457750, TX is 1451750, and a 750 hertz tone. Right, so how do we go about setting up into the radio? Let me just show you. So if your radio's on, and you've already programmed a few repeaters in it like I've done here, so that's BV, you need to push this button here, it says V stroke M, to get to your frequency mode. And mine's on 145800 because I have been listening to the ISS. In the previous video, I stood outside the radio club and uh, heard the ISS coming through. And all week long they've been transmitting pictures, but I've not been able to decode any. Again, I can use my iPhone for that, so when I'm out and about, this radio and your iPhone should give me some pictures live from space. Can't be bad. So let's program the repeater in. So first of all, type in its frequency. That's one four five seven seven five zero. Now this one's automatically put the repeater shift in, but if I hold this button down and menu number forty six says repeater frequency, where for FRQ, and this is saying one point six, which is correct. And then we need to press function, and where are we? Function and zero. It's repeater minus. Once you've done that, we need to save it into its memory. So we press and hold VM. It's going to flash up number 12. Press VM again. And we are going to go, so it's G. Push it on this band. Yep, there you go. GB, and then go number three. GB three NL November Lima, which is a Enfield North London repeater, I believe. And we are going to hold down press VM. Press and hold VM, sorry. And number 12, if you press the VM, comes as GB3NL. Now, if your um, repeater has a tone, 82.5 hertz tone, and you find you cannot enter it, if you push function and then squelch type, and you've got off, tone, and tone squelch. Now, for ages, it took me a while to learn what to do there. So, if it's on tone, you push tone. And then you press function and code. It just tells you what it is there. But if I go back and push function and turn it off, 
you'll see that when I press function and code it doesn't work and it took me ages to work that one out I read the manual got nothing follow the YouTube video and it's because you haven't set the squelch type and this radio um, this freak repeater doesn't need it it needs a 1750 Hertz tone to get in there and that's achieved by pushing on the stroke tone call not sure whether I just I just I got in there I didn't get in there, I thought I got in there, but I didn't. And if you get in there with that, uh, with the tone, the repeater will bleep back at you. Then you can uh, then key up with the button at the side and then uh, chat away on the GB3NL. That was a quick look on how to program an analog repeater into this radio. Now it also works for Simply Sims as well. It's just exactly like, like the same, just program your local repeater in, analog, and away you go. Thank you to all my new subs, I've reached 300 subs on this channel. Thank you so much. Didn't think I would, but I have done. 300 subs before Christmas. That's blinding. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, push the like button, comment, and consider subscribing. This is M6 IQJ, soon to be a 2E0. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers. Bye, bye, bye.